Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? It's your boy Steven here coming back at you again with another video. Let's go into it. How do you guys like that intro? Good? Bad? I don't know. It just, just kind of came about and I've been using it for a while, so let me know if you like that. Today I want to make a video for you guys about insecurity. And just in case it didn't come out, my video isn't enough already. Um, I'm pretty insecure when it comes to my video editing skills and when it comes to a lot of things in my life in general and the tough part is I don't think I'm the exception I think I'm the norm I really just feel like most people are insecure about everything they do and one of the big parts about me starting this business this editing thing is getting past my insecurities every day I battle with self-doubt about whether or not I'm good enough to to make this stuff for you and I recently talked to my life coach and she said, Steven, look it, you have plenty of evidence telling you that you're good enough. You got all these subscribers, all this growth, all these people reaching out to you. You have so much evidence showing you that you're a good editor. And she's right, right now I have a bunch more evidence showing that showing me that I'm a good editor rather than that I'm a bad editor. But my brain still wants to say I'm not good enough. And that word is insecurity. The thing is, I don't think I'm alone. I think everyone suffers with insecurity at some point at some level. Some point during the growth period of being an amateur at something to being good to being professional, there's, there's periods where you're gonna go from being an amateur to being good and you're gonna think you're an amateur but you're actually good. And there's gonna be a period where you're good and you're turning into a professional and you think you're just good, but you're actually a professional. It's just, I guess I need to re-encode my mind to view myself as a professional video editor rather than an amateur. And then the insecurity will go away. It's funny because when I watch my family members like comment on my videos, they're like, oh, good job, Steven. And immediately I discredit it because they're my family and they have to say good things. I guess that's not always true. My family could just be real with me. Like they could actually think that I'm a good editor. And I know for damn sure y'all aren't being real with me because you have no invested interest on what I'm doing. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to make a video about insecurity, um, how it's affected me and kind of just put it out there, you know? Insecurity is a real thing, but I guess the most important thing is that even though you feel this lack of confidence and this self-doubt, um, just keep moving forward. You know, I can still feel insecure about my shit and still move forward. I can still make something cool happen even if my brain is telling me, hey, this, this ain't real. And I think I'm gonna have to do that until my automatic response is just Hey Steven, you make dope shit. And I think it's quickly becoming, hey Steven, you make dope shit. But I think there's always gonna be that little bit of self-doubt in the back of the mind, or at least for a while. Um, anyways, if you like the video, the like button is over here. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, until next time, remember to uh, peace, love, and happiness always. Bye guys. To, at all costs not beat your own self up with yourself yeah at all costs you need to really be your own biggest fan instead of critiquing everything